Welcome back to another video, and we are going to be sharpening a machete today. And so this is the Two Guys in a Cooler channel. Let me first start off by saying thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. Make sure you click that notification bell because you're going to love the kind of content that we've got. So as you can see, we have two machetes that we need to sharpen. And in this video, we're only going to do one. And you know what's interesting? Because of all the requests that we get of you know making videos, sharpening machetes is always at the top. And so I guess that's something people want to see. As you can see, the bottom one is in slightly worse shape. And so we're going to save that one for uh, the next video. So be sure to tune in for that one. And we're just going to clean this blade up a little bit. Now, it's got a little bit of rust on the top. And I'm going to use something called the Sabitoru to clean up the rust. It's, it's called a rust eraser. And check out there. Man, this thing's amazing. Not only does it get rid of rusts, but it also gets rid of light scratches. It's also exceptionally well at cleaning up your stones if you want to get that swarth off your stones. So look, there's a before. That's one side of the uh, of the machete, and there's an after. And there, if you got a lot of deep, deep rust, well, it's going to leave some of that pitting behind, and that's going to give your your blade a little bit of character. And really, you probably need like a belt sander to get that off. But for the saboteur, I'll put a link in the description box below. All right, so now let's go ahead and get this thing sharpened. And in this sharpening, we're going to tape it up, and we're going to utilize that Edge Pro hack that we talked about in a video here previously. And all we did was we took an ax file and we cut it so that it will fit inside that swing arm, just like that. And I'm gonna be using this to do the heavy lifting. And there's a before, so that's, look, no bevel. There's nothing going on there. We're gonna be taking that file and using the coarse side to create the bevel. All right, now I'm sharpening it roughly at about a very generous 30 degrees. And when it comes to sharpening machetes, really there's only one question. What is it going to be used for? Is it going to be used to cut grass or is it going to be used to cut limbs? All right, so this is what the coarse side did. Look how rough and aggressive it is. This thing just removed metal like a boss. So now we're going to flip it over and start using the medium side. And this is what that looks like. Just as aggressive, still ripping through that metal, but tightening it up. Oh, there's my burr right there. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the Atoma 140. All right, now, once my geometry is pretty much set in place, the rest of this becomes a normal sharpening. Unfortunately, I didn't get a shot of the Atoma 140, but as you can imagine, it just tightened up that scratch pattern a little bit better. Now we're gonna move on to the aluminum oxide Edge Pro stones, and this is the 220. So normally I'd be ripping through this stone with a machete. Check it out. Here we go. The scratch pattern's getting cleaned up, looking a little more respectable. And now we're moving on. And I really didn't need to use that much of that 220. It actually worked fairly quick. As we progress through the stones, this is the 400. And we're going to be just knocking it out. Now, once your geometry is put in place, and that's the hardest thing to do, and that's what usually tears up your stones, and we're doing it with those that file, which knocked it out really easy. Once your geometry is in place, the rest of this is just easy breezy, man. You're just knocking it out. This entire sharpening didn't take but about five to eight minutes, I guess. And... Um, there's the 400 Edge Pro Aluminum Oxide. So it's cleaning it up. Right now I've got a really nice edge on it. I'm going to go ahead and put it under that Rudland <laughs> Quick Release Drill Stop Collar, which is awesome. I'm going to put a link in that too if you want to check that out. And we're going to go ahead and finish it up. This is going to be used for cutting branches. So 30 degrees is more than sufficient. If it's going to be used for cutting grass, really 20, 25, somewhere in that range. But um, there's really no reason to take a machete above 1,000, 2,000 grit. First of all, the metal really can't support it. Check out that 600. This is the 600 aluminum oxide, and we're done. And another reason you don't want to take it over 2,000 grit, 1,000 grit, is because the metal can't support it. <laughs> You're going to make your edge too brittle, and it'll blast all the pieces. So let's recap the images. Top left-hand corner is a before. We have the coarse stone. The medium stone, that's the files on the bottom. We have the 220, we have the 400, and we have the 600 aluminum oxide. And it produced a wonderful edge. I mean, this thing is sharp. This thing is ready to go, and it's ready for some action. It's going to hold its edge because of the wide angle. And we're now we're moving. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys got any questions, let me know. Consider subscribing if you're brand new. Make sure you click that notification bell if you do subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to share this video. We'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned because we got a heck of a machete video coming up.